Hello, how to solve t to the power of t equals 11? We are solving for the value of t that will satisfy this equation. Now, if you look at this particular exponential problem, you might be thinking of what value of t that when once we raise it to the power of itself, we are going to have 11. That means it must be a number that we raise it to the power of itself. So for instance, if you consider 1, if you have 1 and you raise it to the power of itself, which is 1, this will give you 1 and it is not 11. So if you consider 2, you have 2 raised to the power of itself, 2. This equals 4 and this also is not 11. If you consider 3, you raise it to the power of itself, 3. This equals 3 times 3 times 3, that is 27. And this is not 11. In fact, this number here is greater than 11, while this number here is less than 11. So you can get the range of values using this technique. That means the range of value of t that will satisfy this equation is actually between 2 and 3 because 2 raised to the power of itself is giving you 4 which is less than 11 and 3 raised to the power of itself is giving you 27 which is greater than 11. So the range of value is between 2 and 3. Now you might consider 2.1 2.2, like you have 2.1 raised to the power of 2.1, then will this give you 11? Obviously, no. Consider 2.2, 2.3, just like that. But this is time wasting. So this surely will waste your time, and you must make use of a calculator if you want to follow this approach. Now, in this video, I want to show you how to solve this problem without testing for values of t that will satisfy this equation. So I'm going to show you how to solve it step by step. What you need to do is to follow me and watch this video to the end. Now let's start it this way. We are going to start solving this problem by introducing natural log. So we have ln, that is the natural log of t to the power of t. And this equals the natural log of 11. So don't forget the fact that we have natural log, which is ln. This equals log to the base of e. Then we also have the log that you know. This simply equals log to the base of 10. So while this is to the base of e, this is to the base of 10. So that's just the difference. So the properties of logarithm, which is this, is applied to natural log. Just the only difference is that this is to the base of e, while this is to the base of 10. So we are going to apply this property of logarithm. If you have log of a to the power of b, this equals b times log of a. So the b here will come behind the log. Now, this is exactly what we are going to do here. So by applying this natural log, that means the t here at the exponent will come behind the natural log. So what we are going to have is t times ln of t and this equals ln of 11. Now, how do we solve this problem? How do we solve this problem? I'm going to introduce you to a particular function. Probably you might have heard it before because I've made videos on that and how to use it. It is called the Lambert W function or you can call it the product lock product lock now or you can as well call it the omega function omega function so this depends on the textbook that you are using we have the lambda W function or the product logarithm or the omega function. Now, this is the function that we are going to use right here in order to solve this problem. 
So how do we use this function? Let me explain it to you. Now, look at it here. The lambda derivative function is denoted by letter W. So this is how you denote the lambda derivative function. And when once you take the lambda derivative function of an expression, that expression must be in the form of a times e to the power of a. And when once you take the lambda derivative function of something like this, you are going to have a as the output. So what this literally means is that we need to convert this expression that we have here at the left hand side to a, an expression of this form a times e power of a and by doing that you can then apply the lambda derivative function and your output will simply be what you have at the exponent so you can as well apply the lambda derivative function of lambda derivative function of if you have x times e power of x the output here will be x so whatever you have here at the exponent is what you are going to get at the output whenever you have this lambda w function so the idea is that we must convert this to this format something like this x times e power of x a times e power of a it must be in this form so let's do that right now so let's recall the problem we have t times ln of t and this equals ln of 11. so we go ahead with the lambda w function but before then let's convert it to a times e power of a now let me show you this if you have e to the power of ln of x what you are going to have is x because the e can eliminate the ln have you seen it so here we have t at this particular point if i decide to express this t here in the form of e power ln of t that means i'm getting the same thing as t because the e can eliminate the ln and what i'm going to have left is just the t so that means we are going to make use of this trick right now because we are going to replace this t with e power ln of t so what we are going to have is instead of having this t here we are going to have e power ln of t which is the same thing as t then we have ln of t down here this one here and this equals ln of 11. Now you can put multiplication sign, which is the same thing. Now at this point, let's get back to what we are using to model that function, which is this. It is the x before e power x. So right here, it must be the one here before e power ln of t. So what we are going to do is let's rearrange it. We have ln of t times e power ln of t and this equals ln of 11. Now look at it very well. What we have here is exactly what we have here at the exponent and there is e here. So we actually satisfy this condition that what you have here must be exactly what you have here at the exponent and what you have here must be exactly what we have here at the exponent. And there must be an e here so this condition has been satisfied at this point we can introduce our lambda derivative function which is ln w of ln of t times e power ln of t and since we have applied it here we can as well apply it here of ln of 11. have you seen it so based on this attribute of if you apply the lambda derivative function right here you are going to have x at the output so that means since we are have applied since we have applied the lambda derivative function here what we are going to get at the output will be ln of t which is exactly what we have here so we have ln of t equals the lambda derivative function of ln of 11. 
Now, at this point, we are solving for t. So we need to eliminate this ln. For us to achieve that, we make use of e. We have e power ln of t. And this equals e power lambda derivative function of ln of 11. So what happens next is e can eliminate the ln. So what we are going to have left is just t. And our t equals e to the power of the lambda derivative function of ln of 11. So ladies and gentlemen, this is our solution. Now, if you are confused on why we are having this solution, I'm going to explain to you what to do to get the precise value of t that will satisfy that equation. So simply make use of your scientific calculator. This time you are not testing, rather you are just inserting this. You have e, you are going to see e in your calculator. Then you are not going to see this lambda derivative function. Rather, what you are going to see is product lock. You have product lock. Then you type ln of 11. So you are inserting e power product lock of ln of 11 in your calculator. Ladies and gentlemen, when once you insert this into your calculator, what you are going to have will be the value of t without testing and wasting of your time. And that value is approximately 2.5557 into four decimal places. So this is the value of t that satisfies that equation without wasting of time and testing. And this is how you can solve it. So if you have t power t, equals 11 that means if you insert this value for t this simply means that 2.5557 raised to the power of 2.5557 will give you an approximate value of 11. so ladies and gentlemen that is it and i believe you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe and share this video thank you and goodbye